This week we're looking at nested if else statements. So last week we looked at very simple if else if else uh, conditional formatting for our for our programs or conditional decision making. And so I thought I'd start there and and kind of talk about some other parts of the program um, that we've been using but maybe not really understanding. So in this first example here, I have a weather application. Okay, and what it's going to do is if the data that's passed into it says that the day is going to be sunny, it'll print out a image of the sun, okay? Uh, similar to what you might see on like a widget on your phone, for instance. Um, if, it, if the data that comes in actually says that it's cloudy, okay, then it'll print out a picture of a cloud, and if it's rainy, it'll print out a picture of this umbrella with rain falling on it. And if there's no other data, if there's no data given in, then I want it to kind of default to this uh, no weather data given right now. Okay, so that's my simple structure right now. So I'm going to show you something uh, that we haven't talked about yet. We've kind of just been glossing over it. So this main method, what we've been calling the main method, is a method in, in Java. So methods are like functions. And in order to use a function like you would in math, for instance, like a trigonometric function or a logarithmic function, okay, like the log button on your on your calculator or sine or cos or tan, those are all functions. You have to give it some data, it does a computation, and then it kicks out a result, okay? We've been creating main methods, okay? So that basically just tells the computer where we're starting, and this is the function of our program, the core function of our program right now. When you get into bigger programs, you can have lots of methods that you create yourself, okay? But you can only ever have one main method, sort of. So what this main method does, though, is it brings in some external data. It brings in a string. It actually brings in an array of strings, so it can bring in a number of different string pieces of information, okay, in an array, so a collection of that string data, and it calls it arguments, okay, so that's a variable that it actually brings in sort of from like an external location, and we can simulate that in our programs by going to the set project configuration and then going customize, and then here where it says arguments, we can actually simulate this passing in of arguments from an external source, uh, so I can put in sunny, for instance, here, okay, Okay, and now when I run my program, okay, it's going to print that picture of the sun because what's going to happen is it's bringing in that string, okay, that was in the arguments. That's why it's called args, okay, and it's in the first spot, and so the first spot of an array is zero, okay, so it looks in that first word that gets passed in, and if that first spot equals sunny, then it's going to print the sun, okay, we can run it again. Customize, and then instead of sunny, okay. We are going to put rainy, save it, run it, and now we get our raindrop image. Now let's add a little more functionality to our widget. So what we're going to do is we're going to now nest an if statement inside this if statement. So if the first condition was met and it was sunny, that's great, but sunny doesn't really tell us what it's going to be like outside. Okay, we still don't know exactly how to dress. So it's great that we know it's going to be sunny, but we also want to know what else the day is going to look like. Okay, so that's where this next part of our, our nested if comes in. Okay, so then we're looking here to see if it's going to be cold as well, because you'll dress different if it's sunny and cold versus if it's sunny and hot. So that's where we put in this nested if else. So the first condition, if it gets met, it's sunny. Okay. Then it looks to see if it's cold, it'll print a picture of a snowflake, okay? If it's not cold, it'll print a picture of this, this flame to say it's probably a good idea to wear shorts. And this is how we kind of structure and nest our if-else statements, okay? So we get this nice cascade, and it's easy to follow. So this if statement corresponds to this else if statement here, okay? So we want to keep those two lined up, and then in here, this if statement lines up with this else statement here, okay? We can then take this code and just lift it out of here and we can use it in our other if statements okay so if it's cloudy I still want to know okay if it's going to be hot or cold so i can dress appropriately even if it's cloudy okay it can be overclass and still be humid and hot okay same thing with our else statement here else if okay um we're going to print that we're also going to check to see what the rest of the day is going to look like. Is I did a little bit of editing. I got rid of the print lines so that everything will print on one line. And now I'm going to show you how this looks again. So we're going to run, okay, 
we now have our, our nested if else statements that are going to check for uh, not only what the weather is out that day, but also the temperature. Okay, so now I'm going to run. I'm going to go uh, set project configuration and customize it. Right now it's rainy cold, so let's just leave it like that. And now we get this nice uh, picture of rain and the snowflake to tell people that it's going to be cold. Okay. Uh, the other piece of information that maybe would be interesting uh, to print out, maybe before we even jump into our our if else statements, would be um, we could print out, let's say, argument three. Okay, so the third argument that comes in, it'll be in the second position. Okay, first position zero, one, two, so the third one would be in position two. Okay, we're going to print out argument two, and that will be when we go to run this thing. Okay, and we set the Project configuration, we customize it. Rainy, cold, maybe seven. What's the temperature? Let's do seven with that. Degrees. Okay. And then what we'll do is args two plus args. Args two. We know it's going to be a number, so let's do. Integer dot parse Let's do. Yeah, let's run this thing now. Okay, seven degrees, rainy and cold. Let's not make it a print line. They're all on one line. Seven degrees, rainy and cold. I like it. Uh, let's maybe put a space in here first. Space. Print one more time. Seven degrees, rainy and cold. Okay, let's try another one. We'll go back into the configuration, customize. Let's say it's going to be sunny. And, okay, it equals cold. Let's say it equals warm. Okay. And seven degrees. Let's say it's seven degrees. On this thing now. Okay, 10 degrees sunny and warm so this is nested nested if else statements okay um a couple of things to kind of take away from from this tutorial okay we now know what these arguments are they're passed in uh, again at the command line you can do it through through the ide or you can actually do it on the command line we'll look at that a little bit later on in the course okay um we can use that information in our program okay in a nested if else statement Okay, we're cascading down through these decisions, okay, checking them and then leaving them, okay, um, and making sure that there's no fall through on our on our code, okay, so that we have a kind of a catch-all statement uh, if something doesn't work, okay, and making sure that we structure things really nicely so we can see this vertical alignment of our code, okay, so it's nice and easy to see which ifs have corresponding else's, okay, so we always want to make sure we're kind of cleaning that up. If, if something's missing, Okay, then then our code isn't going to run. If you have any questions about this week's assignment, please reach out.